Hey y'all, welcome back to the Smoke Dungeon, DB here, and today I'm talking about a series of games that I love, and it's from Multiman Publishing, and it's the Storm Over series, and recently my mom's hooked me up with the fourth installment of this series for my birthday, shout out to DB's mom, love you, 81 years strong. Still knows what makes the young man happy at his birthday. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to her. But I want to talk about this because this series of games is probably one of my favorite of all time in terms of bookcase games. Um, and what I mean by that is I would put it up there with Command and Colors and stuff that fits in a bookshelf and not like sideways, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's a series of games. So yeah, I love Axis and Allies and that is in, you know, a very formative thing for me, um, as a child and then even into adulthood. Absolutely love that series of games, but I'm talking about specifically bookcase games and you'll see one of these isn't even a bookcase game, dude. This one's a folio. This one was one of my Grail games that I've uh, purchased over in the last year. But let's just, this is just going to be a brief overview of the series. And then I'm going to do a video about each one of these games. Um, I still got to open and read the instructions on this one. So the series started with this one, Storm Over Stalingrad. Uh, this was 2008 is this version. Um, and these games are what you call area impulse movement games so there's a map and chits and the map is divided into areas and on your turn you'll be able to activate any or all units in one area to either move attack um or you can always play a card all of these games have cards um and then basically it's i go you go so you'll take a turn activate some of your dudes do something, then the opponent will do it. Um, however, each one of these games, the process is slightly different. Um, and we'll go over that when we go over the original games. But what you get in these games, for the most part, is um, you get high-quality maps that are not mounted. That is a kind of a beef. And I have particular bones to pick about. They're, they're minor things with each of these games. You get good cards. You get good chits. And you get some decent dice. So, yeah, the first game was Storm Over Stalingrad. And you know DB loves some Stalingrad. This is probably one of about eight or nine different Stalingrad games I have. So, these are all two-player games. You can solo them, but it's not uh, for the average bear. I'll just say that, dude. But here in the dungeon, we like to solo games that aren't for the average bear. So, Storm Over Stalingrad. This was the first one from MMP, I believe. Uh, 2008. Millersville, Maryland. The good people of MMP, yo. Shout out to them. DB. Proud alumni of the University of Maryland. Storm Over DMBM Foo. Now, this one was the second one, I believe. This was from 2014. Um, and this one is almost identical to Storm Over Stalingrad, except it adds some different mechanics in the form of trenches um, that can be dug by the Vietnamese player. Um, and this one, me and my guy Tampa, who normally only plays Magic, we played the shit out of this game before he moved back to Florida. We absolutely love this. I have loved the story of DMBM Fu ever since probably gosh uh early 2000s when i read a book called hell in a very small place um db was on some court appointed appointments that he had to make a couple times a week and uh i would wade across from said court place in the food court um <clears throat> and i would just read books so i wouldn't be late and one of the books i distinctly remember reading in that shitty mcdonald's was Hell in a very small place. And it hooked me on the story of DMBM Fu. Because as an American, you learn, you know, you get a lot about Vietnam. But you don't really get a lot about, uh, you know, what the French did in Vietnam before then. So this game, another good one. And this was the second in the series. Um, and this is France versus, um, versus the Vietnamese. 
all of these games, I believe, I don't know if they're still available, to be honest with you. I imagine you can find them online. Um, but they were all, I want to say, about 40 bucks when I bought them. These two, anyway. Um, this one is a special one for me. Um, and this is Storm Over Normandy. And this didn't actually come in a box ever, I don't think. Um, some grognard can correct me if I'm wrong. But MMP releases a magazine, or at least they used to, um, that has scenarios for things like Squad Leader. Um, it has errata for their games and stuff. But this one, in June, summer of 2015, came with Storm Over Normandy, which is essentially the same thing that you're getting in a box here with just no dice because it's in a magazine. Um, it came with counter sheets. I bought this unpunched from an online retailer. I paid a fortune for this. I think it was unpunched about a year ago is when I finally pulled the trigger on it. I think I paid like 160 bucks for it. Don't tell Mrs. DB. But yeah, this was one that I had been like Jones and for for a while because I love these games so much. So I was like, I got to get this. And finally, I saw an unpunched version and I pulled the trigger. Um, I looked to see what it cost the other day, and it costs about that, unless you go for a new and shrink version, and then it's like a fortune, dude. But it comes with a map and everything. And this is Storm Over Normandy, and this is a D-Day version of the same game. However, this one has some slightly different mechanics than these two, which I found very interesting and can't wait to go over with you guys. Um, this one I played very recently with my buddy from Tampa was up visiting for the weekend. Um, and we played this and since then I've played it solo. Um, and I felt like he and I gave it a good run. I did have pneumonia at the time, which was kind of haggard. Um, yeah, pneumonia sucks y'all take care of yourselves. Um, so yeah, storm over Normandy. And then the last one is this one. Storm Over Jerusalem, the Roman Siege. And this one came out this year. Um, and like I said, mom's bought this for my birthday. And I'm very excited because this system, the area impulse system, seems to work well for what I would call modern stuff, like World War II, um, you know, uh, 1950s. So, like, it plays well there. Um, but I wonder about this one i would imagine this game rocks because they all have pretty much rocked so far not that i'm biased or anything um but i'm i'm just kind of a little wonder i just wonder you know because i feel like a lot of the units in this would all be the same or such but who knows well i'm gonna bust this one open as soon as i stop this video and start reading some rules because i am mad sized for this so, but I also wonder about it. Um, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, I really love the area impulse system. Um, you know, you, you roll two dice, add up your unit strength, compare against the defense of the best defending unit. The difference is how many hits you take. And like, it's super easy, dude. Most of the games, they play very fast or, well, as fast as you want them. I guess you could take forever making your decisions, right? Um, that's all part of it. But yeah, I'm really um, excited to do this series of videos and I'm really excited to bust this open. So yeah, Storm Over series. Just looking at these makes me want them to do like a Napoleonic version. I think that would be super dope. But then again, is that like Command and Colors-ish? I don't know. Um, I also have a game that I think is almost like this that is also MMP that is uh, Breakthrough Cambria, which is World War I. I think is almost, it's it's a little bit different, but but very similar to this series, but it's not a Storm Over. So you know what I'm saying? This is strictly for Storm Overs. So um, three of these videos are already done, so get ready to look for them in the coming days. Uh, and yeah, Storm Over, MMP Games, wonderful series of games. I think you should all, if you're into war games, check them out, dude. Check them out and uh, watch my videos about each one of these. You know what I'm saying? Be good to one another. Do what you feel.